I'd like to tie for you a gold ripped hair sear nymph. The hook I have on the vise is size 14 by Mustad nymph hook and the thread I'm going to use is black 6 odd uni thread. As you can see I already have some wire winded around the shank of the hook and that will add some weight to the fly since I'm not using the bead head. And for the tail, I'm going to use some of the mallard fibers. And from the same clump of fibers, I'm going to build a wing case later on. I want my tail to be the length of the hook shank. I'm going to tie that down with a couple loose loops like this and turn under the tail. That's good for now. For the rib, I'm going to use some of the oval golden tinsel. You can use find copper wire as well and that copper wire helps to add some weight to the fly as well and I will tie that down till I get to the point where I want to build the thorax later on and that will be just about here Bring my thread back. Now, for the dubbing, for the body, I'm going to use a hair sear dubbing. bit more of dubbing. Like so. Now I'm going to counter wrap this gold ribbing. turns I'm going to secure that in place with my thread not the excess <coughs> I'm going to lift mallard fibers and advance my thread in front take some more of here's ear dubbing and build a little bit of thorax Now I'm going to pull the fibers towards the eye of the, of the hook and tie that down with a couple of loose loops 
take my bodkin and pull out some of the fibers like so and as you can see that builds a nice looking wing case now I can lift this excess up and give it a few wraps in front to secure everything in place and I can trim off the excess be careful not to cut the thread or the wing post clean everything up with the thread and build a nice little head here and flip finish make sure everything is tight trim off the thread and put the drop of head cement And here we have gold ribbed here see your nymph I hope you liked my video I thank you for watching and tight lines